Greetings. Greetings to you too, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. With me once again is... Greetings. Greetings. It's perfect. I just load into this room and he says greetings every time. Okay. So, when we last left off, Caius was about to give us another mission before we slept in for the day. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see here. He wants us to go get information from a member of the Mages Guild this time. So, we should be able to do something about that. We are in the guild, after all. I didn't notice he mentioned something about the Sixth House, so that's something. Yes, we have information on the Sixth House. Now we're looking for information on something called the Nerevarine Cult, and we'll get to that. It's kind of a Ooh, doozy, boy. because this next plot dump is uh, a bit long if you read through all of it, but I can sum it up. Now I'm just trying to look around for something... I completely forgot about a really neat steal you can do if you find the guard tower in this area. I believe it's this one. There are weapons in the guard tower, of course. Oh, steel staff. And on top of this drawer here, or a closet, I guess see i don't know if you can like see it from here because it's actually kind of high up but if we stand over here oh look there's a sword on the thing you can just barely see and behind this pillar the guard cannot see me so what i'm going to do is ready my telekinesis spell once again i know you guys like it excuse me i'm trying to cast it there we go okay this sword of white woe oh whoa Strong and very, very valuable, as you can see. But this magic effect is not that good, honestly. It's just a drain effect. Hmm. See, the difference between drain and damage is that damage sticks drain when the duration runs out. They get that health back. Oh, wow. That's definitely not vampirism. Nope. If you want vampirism, you go for absorb. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I do Don't not. Don't say anything! <laughs> uh. Anyways, off to the Mage's Guild once again. Uh, that's pretty nice. Precious, so make it quick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, then. Say something or move on. This, this will not get repetitive at all, really. Uh, we just bump shoulders, that's all we do. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm glad they don't lock up at night. Oh, yeah, the guilds don't lock up at night, which is a little interesting, I suppose. The future Elder Scrolls games, they do a lot more with time, basically. I All right. need you as a friend. Oh, that's good. I need something from you. Hey. As usual, in order to get her information, we need to run a little errand. She wants us to go it's... to an ancestral tomb and steal a skull. That's not morbid. <laughs> yeah, wh what are you? Some kind of necromancer, maybe? And she says here that necromancy is totally a legitimate discipline, but in Morrowind, it's highly illegal. Uh. So, are you a necromancer? No, of course not. I can't teach you spells. I'm not a necromancer. No, absolutely not. Not a necromancer, even though I'm an advocate for the discipline. <laughs> okay, then. Sure, you are. Okay, then. Uh, let's see here. I'll just, you know, totally ignore this chest you are staring at for some reason. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna ask what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if my sense of direction is correct, the tomb should be to the southeast. That's west. Mm -hmm. I might have to, like, check my map or something. In fact, yeah, you know, keep... things that NPCs say about locations are in your journal. You can look up your quest journal, and you can look up anything the NPCs say. But I'm sure if we, uh... Yeah, I'm going to probably have to look this up. <laughs> okay, okay. We make a special trip. Oh, he said the thing! Same low price. He said the thing. <laughs> nice. Do give me one moment to look this up because I don't want to risk going in blindly. Okay, so I looked up where the tomb is and I'm glad I did. 
we actually need to travel back to the first town called Sedanin, and then we proceed northeast on foot. Where would you like to go? Okay. It's a good thing I looked that up. Wonder what else we're gonna be encountering. I'm hoping to pick up some flowers, as a matter of fact. Maybe they'll be somewhere along the way. I only see, uh, ah, yes. only see uh, mushrooms for now, though. All fungo, all fungus, no flora. All fungus, no flora. That's correct. Do we have a rat? We do. Actually, perfect time to demonstrate that sword I made. Oh, right. Very simple. Yay, I trapped his soul. <laughs> Wonderful! Souls, give me strength! I just hope your sword doesn't become evil. Nah, that couldn't possibly happen. I'm just saying, like, if it starts growing an eye and, like, it's all fleshy, you know what to do. Mm hmm. The Androno Ancestral Tomb. This is the place. This is a different tomb than we were last time, right? Right. This is not where we got the Mentor's Ring. There are ghosts, of course. Oh, wonderful. Let's try out our new weapon. Oh, the ghost. There's also a body here. Uh, I don't want its ectoplasm. No, thank you. Not much on this guy. He's got a saber. Let's see here. There's a shrine, which you can... I can actually use that to maybe recover my... Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. Now, there's some interesting things around here that I read about. Hmm. So always check for additional oh. loot. Oh my goodness, what is that? What is that? That looks like some kind of whacked out zombie. Excuse me. Almost. <laughs> I like the skeleton shriek. There also, it's surprisingly hardy. Mm -hmm. That was a bone walker, that's what they're called. Or what is, or is that the skeleton? No, skeleton's just an archer. Bone walker. Mm-hmm. Mm. Peel that off, and uh, I guess we could jump if we feel like risking it, but I don't. Yeah, no, that's what looks like a big drop. Right. Nice and dark. Oof. And there's always like this yes. weird sound effect that sounds like shattering teeth or something. Hey, got there's another one. Ah, skeletons. Please hit him. Okay, now you're getting a taste of Morrowind combat, I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm all of a sudden to just say happy slaps, like, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. And sometimes there are, like, alchemy ingredients inside of tombs for some reason. I don't know why you would, like, leave fire salts. I, I can imagine what the bone meal must be, so I don't want to pick that up. Yeah, especially since it's an urns. Ooh, this oh. looks like it might be a little tricky. Oh yeah, let's let's uh, fire up some magic, shall we? Sure. What you got? Oh, ow! What was that? The other one might have a bow. Oh dear. Ooh. I better heal that off though. You know there there, there are there are assignable shortcut keys in this game, but for some reason. Ow, that hurts. Jeez. What kind of boat does he have? I know I want to know. Now it's just an ordinary long bow with iron arrows. Maybe he was uh, aiming for my weak spot. Uh, proficiencies. And that's an iron tanto. It's just a short, one-handed sword. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say there are quite a lot of weapons in Morrowind that I never wind up checking out. That's a silver dagger. It always makes me wonder, like, a type of class in these type of games where you just have to work with whatever weapons you find. Well, weapons do have durability and they do break eventually, but that's what the armor skill is for. You can repair your weapons with it. Right. 
Let's check and make always... sure. Was... Yeah. Like, I've always thought about that. Like, imagine a game where it's not about having, uh, being able to keep the weapon. It's just, you just have to pick up as much weapons as possible because they all are bound to wear away eventually. Almost like Breath of the Wild. Yeah. That's actually kind of true now I think about it. <laughs> Although, honestly, I've seen people, like, hit the inventory limit in Breath of the Wild. More like often than, like, running out of weapons, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, they still want to have some level of durability. Oh, oh this guy is a spear. Ooh, careful. He's dangerous. Never mind. Oh, it is a halberd. So well, a halberd. Kind, kind of a spear? Well, yeah. It's like a spear with an axe head, basically. Well, I, I have skill in spear, so I think I will take it with me. Go for it. Is there is there a guy in here? No, this room is... This room is interesting. It's got, like, some seats and a cloth sack with, well, some flowers in it for some reason. I guess that'll save me some time. That's the thing I wonder, like, who would try to gather in this kind of place? No idea. It's it's like a tomb and everything. <laughs> Why yeah. would you want to... Well... Okay. So it's because it's surrounded by enemies, like bone walkers and skeletons. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't what I think it is, is it? He's hitting me with something. He's using some kind of magic. Come on. I just need one more hit. Thank you. There we go. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't look like he hurt me in any significant way. Hmm. That would be the skull we're looking for, so that's that out of the way. And there's also a magic dagger here if you are skilled in short blade. I am not. Ah, yes, here's the book I was looking for. 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 15. Open it up, and... My unarmored skill went up. <laughs> I have knowledge! Yeah, the 36 lessons of Vivek are actually very interesting to read because uh, I looked this up on the wiki, the final book has a hidden message. So if we find that book, I'll be sure to explain that. Hmm. Ah, and here we have another scroll Ooh. of fire. That's nice. Some kind of uh, bone mold helm. Well. It have gone too long. It's not my uh, preferred armor type. There's three kinds of armor. Light, medium, and heavy. And then you can also fight in the nude, and there's a skill for that. <laughs> if, it's not, if it's not a part of our, uh, whatever the Berserker class is, I'll be very disappointed. I am certain that Berserkers would have that. I mean, it makes sense. Like, they don't need armor. They just literally power through everything. Of course, since you can create your own custom class, you know, the, the base classes, they don't tend to get used all that often because players love making a custom one. Uh, of course. Ah, it reminds me of multi-classing. Nice daylight once again. Nice daylight. There's the giant trees that look like mushrooms from a distance. Ah, mushroom trees. They're all <laughs> over Morrowind. Wait, are they actually mushroom trees? Uh, there's gonna be some interesting architecture, let me put it that way. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're back. Much, much better. Could probably sell off some of my items while I'm at it, because I still have a lot of, uh, junk. It should have been 24 hours since I last checked in with Ravier. Let's see. I forgot to mention, by the way, Ravier claims that he has Daedric weapons, which are the strongest in the game, but if you actually ask him about it... No, they're not Daedric weapons, and you're right, but they are magic weapons that will turn into Daedric weapons when you want them to. What? Did that sound weird? <laughs> no, it's just like, that's that's just how I respond to confusing stuff, it's like, what? Okay, maybe it was a little confusing, but that's the deal with the Conjuration School of Magic. Conjuration has a lot of summon spells, and it also has uh, being able to summon weapons. I see. So, the idea is, like, eventually you'd be able to summon a Daedric weapon. 
Yeah, pretty much. Oh. What am I, what am I holding on to yes. all of these books for? Or? And huh? again, they're probably weighing a bit. Well, I said lore, but they're probably weighing a bit in your pockets. Yeah, I figured they would. So all of this, like, stolen silverware, don't ask where I got it. Eh, it's been, what, a few days? Do I don't I think they'll mind. No, you don't, and neither do you. Goodbye. <laughs> By the way, don't make the mistake of dropping or selling quest items, because that's a thing you can do. It's very difficult to find them again. What is this Ooh. about? Especially if it's like named items, like how are you supposed to find them again? Yeah, and I and I hope it's actually possible to enchant pieces of paper into scrolls. Don't enchant important quest pieces of paper. What is your oh my god? Here? All right, I got the skull, and she has notes about the Nerevarine cult. So, Ooh. according to her, this Ashlander cult believes the long dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesized Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the Tribunal Temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. Both Temple and Empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders who care little for Imperial or Temple law. Well. But, but where Outlanders? Exactly. Like, Morrowind... The, 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 the native Dark Elves, they really don't like Outlanders. Oh, We're not mean no harm to them. Unless they want to try and murder us. Well, I mean the Imperials are kind of occupying the place as part of their empire, so kind of unfortunate <sighs> fact there. That is true. Sweet Moon Sugar. Ah, sweet Moon Sugar. She has it in her inventory. <laughs> <laughs> so the funny thing is, I, I looked this up. Two of the flowers that she wants you to get, they're in her uh, stock that you can buy. Wait, don't you know? She just wants to make... She's just testing you. <laughs> That or she's not the brightest kitty in the litter. Where did where did that <laughs> item go? Uh, that's better. I just want one. Okay. That's at least makes it a little easier there. Mm-hmm. Still wondering about this lady and her whole uh, definitely not a necromancer business. Well, I mean, she's told us straight. Like, we're not, she's not a necromancer. We'll just have to take her for her word. Well, we could do a little investigating. Where's the open spell? There it is. Oh? What would you call a projectile key? Key throw? Or small key. <laughs> that actually, that works. Small key shooter? <laughs> I like that. Yes, I just made a ranged open spell. Now, I don't want to get caught trying to unlock it. Because uh, the Mage's Guild isn't going to be happy with me trying to take other people's things. It's gotta be careful. There's a little key symbol. Bingo! I'm worried about the spell chance, though. I'm not, like, a master of mysticism right now. But I'll take it. Better give it a shot. We always give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Like that thing. That's combining two cantrips into... Well, not cantrips. One spell skill and one magic ability into one. Bingo! Let's see here. Or Legions of the Dead. Hmm. Uh oh Might as well take the rest of it, too. Vampires. Thank you. No one saw a thing. In so, guild of magic. Attention is yours. What do you have to say for yourself? You got a copy of Legions of the Dead here. Where did you get that? That's my copy of the... Oh, all right. I'm a necromancer. <laughs> Look, I'll teach you a spell, but you'll have to keep your mouth shut about this. I can teach you the Summon Ancestral Ghost spell, or if you prefer, I can teach you to summon a skeletal minion. Oh, that's I'll, tempting. I'll take the ghost. The ghost is very nice. She has some ghosts. Keep quiet. Now then, the most important part of this spell we just got. 
The thing about enchanting items in Morrowind, you do not need to be a master of whatever spell you're trying to cast. We just got a conjuration spell, but I am really bad at conjuration. Hmm. So by enchanting an item with the spell, I would have a much better, like, when, when you cast a spell out of an enchanted item, it doesn't take anything to cast it, really. Question oh, is, wow. what, what to enchant? Despite people saying otherwise, RNG is not re is predictable if you look hard enough in the code. Not even just the code, I'm just going to keep trying again and again until I get it. Right. Ghosty, roasty, ring. We can keep putting this up many times. Maybe a ring is not the best plan, but I don't ha really have anything else I could uh, cast it for. Uh, like, how would you cast it from your ring? That's what I wonder. Uh, you would equip the magic ring and then you can press the spell button. Ooh, okay. What about my shirt? Oh, my shirt is way too weak. It's just a shirt. Mm hmm. Ghosty, roasty ring. Uh, ghosty is not spelled correctly. Oh my goodness. Imagine if I enchanted it now. <laughs> if it worked, I'd laugh. 22 seconds. 22 seconds should be fine, honestly. 53. It's... It's towards your favor. Bingo! Yeah! So now that we have it, I'll go ahead and try it out. Ghosty roasty. I just hope nobody gets mad at this. No, they won't. Let me take my weapon off, though. I'm gonna go outside for this, actually. Alrighty. Because the thing about the Ancestor Ghost, it's a very special summon. Summon it. And then I just punch it. It could help me out in combat, sure, but it could also cast its spells at me and refill all my magicka. Oh, you can aggro your own summon, okay. You can even soul trap them. Oh, that sounds like... That sounds like it's a very easy thing to exploit. It is, believe me. Like, uh. this this is very much a sandbox... Oh, the duration ran out before I could finish him. Oh, well. <laughs> Ancestor Ghost Souls are not that strong. I'm guessing the ring itself has durability on that. No, but it does have charge. You can't just fire it off willy-nilly. The size of the soul you use determines how much... It's essentially how many magic points the item itself has. Okay, I see. But the more you use your enchanted items, the better you get in enchanting, and uh, your enchanting skill basically works the same way as your other magic skills as it reduces the MP cost of spells. Oh my god. So at first you can only summon one, and How then you can, can summon two. Next thing you know, you have an army. Perhaps. Alright. I got the skull, and uh, I got the notes, and I've got a promotion to Apprentice in their little spy network. Yeah, but yeah. he wants us to come back when we are a stronger level. So we'll have to come back later. Hey, you know, we totally got all the notes from the Necro... I mean, what? <laughs> no, there weren't any Necromancers at the Mage's Guild. No, sir. Not at all. What do you mean we punched a... You saw us punch a ghost? You can't punch ghosts. You can totally punch ghosts. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, so I guess the thing next is, what's our course of action? Well, we need to be level 3 to continue with the main quest. This is really the only level gate in the main quest. It's kind of weird that they even have one. Hmm. But I suppose, you know, we could uh, try and see if we can find the rest of those flowers for the Khajiit lady. Eesh. There you are. Ah, there we go. Okay. Or hit the road. Really? I think Nobody's... I think it's my low personality. <laughs> you're not handsome, uh, Ariel anymore. Only for two seconds. <laughs> and too bad hitting yourself on the door is not an option. 
hitting myself on the door. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, that's how Squidward got it. Is it? Yeah, the whole thing is like... the ep In that episode, Spongebob accidentally hits Squidward with the door in the Krusty Krab, and when the more he does it, the more beautiful his face gets. Until the point where he does it enough that he turns into handsome Squidward. That's almost morbid. It kind of is, especially because the only way they reversed it is because they oh, accidentally listen. stumbled him and he slammed his face in a wooden pole, and that's what did it. So Squidward was hit on the head one time, and that made him unlikable. Yeah. Welcome, friend. <laughs> Anyways, there's All our right. flowers. We got some very inexpensive restore magic potions. That I'll take that, honestly. Not very handy. So you got anything else for us? She wants a ceramic bowl, and that's literally all she wants. Alright, well, where can we find one? Very easy, as a matter of fact. Hmm. Pretty sure, like, the guild steward has one right next to her. Outlander, what do you want? I want this bowl, is that okay? Cool. <laughs> uh, that wasn't too bad. Well, that was very easy, as a matter of fact. She gave me ten gold to buy one, but it's like right here in the guild. Welcome. Yeah, here's your bowl. But it seems she must now find her stolen reports. Well, what happened? Galbadier stole her reports on the properties of local mushrooms and flowers. Well then, seems seems her rival is counterattacking. And she said the reports are nearby. Where yeah, they, they have be? to be within the guild, because she never left. Oh, look. Here's one. Oh, wow. That was very well hidden. Why don't we actually read these? I'm kind of interested. Yellow flower, dark green leaves. Petals make a paste that restores strength. Dark blue, very expensive. Can gain more magicka for a short time. Little flowers, good potions, have many uses. May have potion to cure the common disease. Oh, that's that's handy. Ajira works very hard to collect these flower samples. Wait a minute! <laughs> yeah, right. Well then. How interesting. Let's I am in your guild. I am a we journey. We work here. <laughs> ah. Oh man. Pretty sure the other one is, like, wedged between these two baskets. Mushrooms. Please tell me she didn't do it again. Not for every one mix. Get poster for breathing underwater. Walking on the water instead of under the water. Let's see. Crushed. Potion tastes very bad. Ajira works very hard to go all over the bitter coast and collect all these mushrooms. I hate you! And so much for... That. <laughs> Try to be nice. Yes, I'm just trying to be nice. Okay, let's 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 be nice to her though. We got your reports. Here you go. Oh, uh, hello there. She added a bunch of stuff. Lots of potions. Fire shield, frost shield, lightning shield, spell absorption potions. That's very nice of you. Ooh. Guess that makes up for you taking all the fame for the potions. Mm-hmm. And she also promises that if we hit a certain rank, she might have something else. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Warm sands. That's much nicer. Thank you very much. Oh, that actually does sound nice. I suppose. Yeah, because she'd actually come from a desert province. Ah, uh, it makes sense. All right, so. <sighs> Do I deserve a little advancement? I'm now officially an evoker! How about Ooh, another thanks. one? Advancement in the Mage's Guild does not occur by magic. Well, thank you very much. That's good to know. That's good to know. Is this high enough for your spells? Oh, no. You need a higher rank. Okay. I'll just oh. keep climbing that proverbial ladder. Mm-hmm. We still haven't gained a single uh, level, which is actually interesting, but... It all depends on, like, how often you are using your skills, I suppose, and these quests haven't really been giving us skills. 
No, it's mostly fetch quests. Mm -hmm. Actually, I did pick up a quest from the Thieves Guild, so we could go check that out. That's true, because yeah, we did finish up the last quest last time we were there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I suppose why not? It's an interesting thing that we can go and do. Yeah. So I wonder if maybe I should, like, have a couple spells ready. Oh well. I'll, I'll deal with it when I get there. As soon as I remember where the Silt Strider is. <laughs> no worries. I'm trying to remember where it was, because it was on the edge of town. It wasn't towards the river. Oh, right. <laughs> it's very easy to see. <laughs> Look for the giant bug with legs. Where would you like to go? Let's see here. Let's head back to... All right, I, I've actually gone off in completely the wrong direction, I think, so let's try and uh, reorient ourselves here. All right. Let's see. This should be fine. And from here... From here, we can actually find a boat, because it's not just Silt Striders, they also have boats. I'll say, it is very nice that Riding Silt Striders actually does that count as a rest, though. That is uh, one thunderstorm tonight. We're going out in a thunderstorm. This is a very bad idea. I would listen out that bit, but make it quick. Okay. La Oad is our destination. That's much, much better. Oh, beautiful. So it's a nice little um, village, I suppose. Definitely. Let's see. I will remind myself what I was meant to do here. Or did I, like, actually pick up the quest? Oh, boy. Uh, and I use... Yeah, because I don't know if you went to the guild or not after. I thought I picked up the quest. Because I think you did, like, turn in the diamond... Did you turn in the diamond for the last quest? Yeah. I don't remember if they gave it to us or not. I never picked up the quest, I bet. I'm feeling pretty silly for traveling out here without actually picking up the quest. At least the view's nice. Yeah. You know what, maybe we can like actually like get the items and take them back anyways, because it's totally fine to just... I, lo I love the name of this building, Fat Legs Drop Off. So I happen to know that the quest item is like it has no time for you. inside this very chest right here. So I'll t I guess I'll tell you what the quest is. This little kitty right here has been dealing with illegal dwarf artifacts, and they're in that box. Oh boy! Let's see. The, th the crazy thing is, e even if you actually have the quest, no matter what you do, you can never like convince him to open the box and show you. You can't like expose him or anything. Talking to him doesn't work, and uh, you probably want to avoid getting a bounty on your head for killing him, especially with a witness right there. Imagine eating one of those things. Me neither. What, one of what things? No idea. So, uh, I'm going to have to maybe, like, do this in a bit of a awkward way. Like, there's really no way to avoid a witness reporting you when you open the box. So, uh, I guess I'll just wing it. Uh, if I succeed at casting the spell. No more. Oh, he's actually, like, trying to hurt me now. Well, excuse me, I'm just going to take these. Stop <laughs> thieving, am I good or what? <laughs> oh, he caught me with a spell on the way out, but it's fine. Okay, so we've got a bounty on our heads now. Let's just not worry about it, shall we? I'm sure, like, yeah. it, everyone knows you've got a price on your head. Well, that was fast. Ah, uh, dang. Yeah, just take me, like, back to that place. Okay, this place looks Damn. a lot nicer without the thunderstorm, I gotta say. Oh, definitely. Mid midday, everything. Oh, it just happened. What? Did happened. you see what it said? You should rest and meditate on what you learned. That's what it says when you're ready for a level. 
<laughs> so let's yes. do that. Resting here is illegal, really? You can't just rest under a tree. That's loitering. This is illegal, you know. Yeah, yeah, we stole some Please, junk, so what? Oh, you. hello. Same low. Got right here, and this Argonian has a nice head, actually. I I really dig him. Mm -hmm. But all things considered, we should probably do something about that bounty first. I assume we could just pay it, pay it off to get rid of it or something. Uh, sure. we, we, we could surrender to the guard and have our stolen goods confiscated and all. Uh, hello, sugar yeah, lips. No, I kind of did the quest before. I kind of did the quest before you even told me about it. Uh, do we have oh, yeah, like the ones are here in my back pocket. Why yes. Do oh, so she. I. You know, honestly, it. it it deals out so much text because there's not only her response, but also all of the little notifications of items that were either taken or given. So she gave us some lockpicks and probes and a repair hammer. That's really kind. <laughs> That's a lot to give. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Someone died recently, but left a bottle of vintage brandy. Okay. I mean, they're not going to be using it anymore. She's nice and straightforward, though. The vintage brandy is in the Hualo Manor. Bring this brandy to Habasi. <laughs> Let's head downstairs, too, though. If you talk Good to this day guy. To you, Outlander. Can I be of service to you? Even the non dark elves call me Outlander. Yeah, he's at least nice. So, a, oh, function, right. a function of the Thieves Guild is if you've got a bounty, they can make it go away for only half the price 175 gold. Oh, no, 88 gold. That's very good. That's nice, thank you. Or 87 gold. I mean, it's a trick. Okay, 87 gold it is. We saved one gold piece by uh, being oh. math. I guess I just wonder, it's like, the Thieves Guild clears of the crime. I wonder how. I think they've got, like, some kind of deal with maybe the judges or whoever runs the law enforcement. I'm all yours. Yeah, I mean, if you're good enough, they'll kill you. So Caius did say we could use his bed. I'll just be resting here for an hour. Night. Good oh, morning. excuse me. We're, we're doing this now? Drink. Yeah, right. You can you recall can... one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led you among the dead through a wedding celebration. Oh, you heard many voices, but no lips move. You strained to breathe, but your chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking as if they were alive, but they made no reply. You tried to cut out without breathing. Your tongue fluttered in vain. Okay, we're getting this already, huh? Uh, Caius, we just had a really weird dream. You think you could maybe talk to me about it? You're not going loopy on me, are you? A word of <laughs> A word of advice. In Morrowind, if you have disturbing dreams, the temple says you are crazy. And they want to lock you up. And if you have disturbing dreams and they think they mean something, then the temple thinks you're a prophet or a witch. And they want to lock you up. <laughs> okay, noted. We'll have to find someone with knowledge of this kind of thing in order to get info on that. Uh, let's try it again. There we go. That's where we were going. Up to level two. All your life you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly, facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. I have strength! Indeed. So, the leveling system is a little bit weird. You can choose three stats to increase, but you see that there is a multiplier by each of the stats that will gain more than one single point when you select them. Yeah. So I'll take the strength, the speed, and the agility. These multipliers depend upon what skills you are increasing in order to level up. I see. So if you'll recall, <laughs> the player can choose whatever skills they want, and they've got a governing attribute. That is the attribute that will increase further if you use it. Alrighty. And also, your miscellaneous skills that you didn't select at the start, they still count towards your levels. Oh, that's nice to know. Yeah. 
So if you wanted to like min max, you could like go to a skill trainer and buy skill increases in miscellaneous skills, even if you're not using them, because the miscellaneous skills don't count towards levels, but the major and minor skills do. So it can be a bit annoying because you need to uh, avoid leveling the major and minor skills until you're ready to actually take the level and get the nice big multiplier. But the thing is, it's not really necessary to do that. <laughs> Because you could just level more if you wanted more attribute increases, right? Ah, oh, that's fair. But the thing is, in Oblivion, there's uh, the the fourth Elder Scrolls game, the one right after Morrowind, there's another layer on top of that that turns the leveling system into kind of an annoyance, and that's that the enemies get stronger every time you level in Oblivion. I'm not sure to what extent this applies in Morrowind, but I'm pretty sure like they don't scale like literally everything in Morrowind when you level. Maybe like a couple of things, but not a lot. And I hate that, because like, I get it, you're getting stronger so you face stuff for enemies, but it comes to a point where it's almost arbitrary. Right. So players found in Oblivion that they had to min-max, or else they would be unable to like really take on any of the enemies. Oof, and I absolutely hate that. Like, if you need to min-max in a game, that's usually what is like rubs me off of it i don't like having to like optimize just to play the game i prefer to optimize if i really want to get the most out of a game mm. i like what we're doing here are we i mean we uh, we gave ourselves a specific class and we've been focusing on spell casting just so that we can do all these crazy things like uh lock picking and uh taking items without being seen that's very fair not sure if we'll be able to, like, get the lock on this door with the guard watching, though. Eh, it's just his watch. He has to stare at that door for eight hours. I feel for that guard. Well, it's expensive, and it is a coin toss, but we could try casting this nice little flying spell. Got it. Success. Whee! Levitation is really nice in this game. I don't like that other guy. We didn't fall down a thousand feet and break our knees why did he refuse to use levitation again wait no i think it wasn't the idea like he had like super height but like it wore off and he basically was careening down with no way to recover yeah he used as like a super jumping spell oh please nice i do think levitation is kind of annoying because i seem to be stuck okay there we go because yeah, you Oh, there we go. I think my head was in the ceiling or something. Ugh. Hello. <gasps> He's dead. Who killed him? No idea, but I won his amulet. We might as well take it. And he's not using it, right? Right. He's got gloves. He's got nice pants. He's got so much nice things. These nobles always have nice things, right? Now we're going to be a noble. That's a silver longsword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably should not be discur disturbing a crime scene or anything, but, you know. Uh, I mean, maybe. Also, it's not like who else would be here right now. I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> and again, free house. Free house. Still says owned. I'm guessing he's not the only one here. Nah, that just uh, that's just the game laying. You know that it belongs to somebody. There's the brandy and his clothes. Ooh. His clothes are expensive, man. They'll be great for enchanting. I can't pass this up. I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, she she, do she doesn't suspect the thing. It's make fine. it quick, Outlander. Oh, she was employed by the dead guy. Well, can you tell us a little about him? You saw the dark elf who killed him? Boy. Let's see. Young with red hair and a tall row over his head as is fashionable these days. I have no idea. Bone mold armor and wielded a dwemer. That's dwarven. A dwarven war axe. Dwarven she knows axe. no more. Hmm. Well, wow. it's nice good to know. We'll have to keep an eye out, but 
I struggle to think of. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the bottom door. I can't actually jump over that ledge. As long as walking out the front door isn't suspicious. You know what is suspicious though is probably wa walking out with all of these expensive things. They're not that expensive though. That's a lot of stuff though. Yeah, Bethesda, they love putting a bunch of, like, clutter items. I mean, it helps make the world feel lived in, I guess. Mm-hmm. Might be some ingredients in here, I suppose. There's a little gold. All this fancy stuff just only has, like, two gold pieces in a barrel. Two gold pieces in a barrel, yeah. There's four there. Oof, six gold pieces. Okay, never mind. This guy's loaded. Oh, there we go. A ring. Yay! Now we can use it to summon ghosts. Just give me all of this. The common equipment is not very good for enchanting, so I'll let him keep some. I should have stolen this instead of going all the way to the lake to get all these flowers. <laughs> uh, you know how it is. Hindsight 2020. All right, so we got the brandy. Yeah, and we got a murder on our hands. Maybe the guards Say what you might want to know something about it. Uh, that could be Thanelin Velas at the Council Club over by the Silt Strider. Okay. Ooh. Excuse me. Hi. <laughs> yeah, imagine if that was him right there. <laughs> Like, hi, how are you, I hear you talking about me. I've actually never done this quest, honestly. I kind of just ignored it, because I was busy with the Thieves' Guild. <laughs> Fair. So I guess that's the thing, like, are we going to plan on heading there after the guild, or...? Sure. Head on. What is this about? <laughs> she said head on, which instantly reminded me of this one commercial, where the lady goes... Head on, apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> like, uh, that sounds familiar. Oh, 1,000 gold for the vintage brandy. That is very much appreciated. That is nice. Let's see. Fort Pelagiad's jail holds a member of the guild. New Shoes Bragor. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> uh, he smuggled Dwemir items. No That's wonder. Good. Yes, we can maybe threaten him with the idea of... Or bribe him, rather. May you walk on water. I'm glad Let that I actually picked up the quest. Not really sure if I'll actually pursue it until later, though. Uh, do I get any rank increases? Oh, I need to hone my skills. Okay, cool. From where do you hail? I don't know. No, really, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, orcs, they come from a place called Orsinium. It's far to the west. Oh. Is that where we're from? I guess you could presume that all orcs are from Orsinium, but orcs are, are really, like, they're spread out all over the province, uh, the, the country, to be honest. True. There's no time for okay. Go. Oh, uh, mm. that would be you, then. Okay, that is one heck of a hair piece. All right. That is a mohawk, yes. I thought he wore bone mold armor, though. Just mm. in case, I feel like taking my magic potion. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to drink this potion. Don't think of it. Oh, you want to like me more before you say anything. Okay, then. Handsome Juriel. Handsome Juriel is back. Just a coincidence, I assure you, Nine Toes is the real murderer. His house is in the middle row east of the river, Odai. Odai is the river in the center of town. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. Yeah, pretty fancy. I dig the blue lanterns. It wants something. What does it ask? So are you the killer? Did you murder a man in cold blood? 
See, now you know I'm in his- wait, what? No, I don't. No, we just asked you. You are known toes. I have heard the murderer. rumors, but I am not a murderer. I believe someone is spreading these rumors because I am a foreigner and an Argonian. Uh oh. Well, That's mean. Yeah, uh, Dark Elves really don't like any other race, but Argonians, who boy. Man, I don't like them more. I don't like them even more now. <laughs> what, Dark Elves? Dark Elves seem a little stuck up from all the sounds Speak of it. Traveler. They've been through stuff. That's also true. I don't know their history. So maybe I should probably know a bit more before I judge. But we at least know that uh, he's innocent, so I wonder what the heck this guy's going on about. Well, maybe we, we should, like, ask him again. See if... Leave me. There's anything else to say. Do I have to, like, do my thing again? Uh, only fail, please, only please, please just, one. please just successfully taunt. Come on. I'm just trying to think of what this will look like in reality. You're just throwing insults at this. Oh, oh, oh. We, I got it. You can. Ow. Okay. He technically struck first, so yeah. So yeah, taunting someone into attacking you avoid the bounty that way. There, it's self defense at that rate. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's see. Look at all those repair hammers he's got. He probably worked as a blacksmith. Maybe. He's probably, like, fixing up his weapon that way. Ooh, also true. It's an axe, so I don't really want it. There. Okay, let's head back to that lady and, uh, see if we get rewarded for bringing him to justice. Yeah. Poor woman. I mean... If she was, I think she was the servant. So, indeed, if she has, if she has the household to herself. Perhaps, not sure how it works really. Oh, look at me! Uh, housing development in real life is already complicated enough. Uh, I think it was this one. But the outside's locked. To jump over there. Okay. Let's. Uh, dang. I'll have to get my magic back, I guess. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, cast your magic at me, ghosts. Wow. Thank you. One shot and it restores my entire thing. Your long blade skills increased. I have a really long blade. Ooh. <laughs> Levitate. Don't worry about a thing. I'm just flying inside the door. Eh, you know, you have permission in the second door. It's like going into the stock pond in on the second floor. True. I, I, <laughs> I wish I didn't have to wait for the spell to run out, though. Because, like, I don't know what it is. I think I'm stuck on the collision. That's what I'm thinking. Because, yeah, that's what normally happens if you're, like... Basically embedded into a, a solid wall. Okay. There we go. Hey. You brought the murder. You you brought justice to his murder. I am grateful. You should speak with Lin a uh, Nil Nileno. Names are hard sometimes. Nileno Dorvain at the Wallow Council Man uh, Hall. She's offering Wall a reward. Okay. Wall Yes, Hualu is one of the great houses that I mentioned. Uh, you could just go through the front door again, couldn't you? Of course. I, mean, I just want to like use up your magic if you don't need to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just hey, you know the body's still there. The body's still there, of course. Okay, I believe it was over this way. Hey, we murdered a murderer. Does that make us a murderer? Perhaps it does. So, you do not belong to any house, but you have brought <laughs> Raylan Hualo's murder to justice. I will make sure House Hualo hears about what you did. There was a reward of 1,000 drakes, which is now yours. If you wish to join House Hualo, I will put in a good word for you. 
Hmm. Ooh. Never actually taken one of the Great House quest lines to the end, so that's worth thinking about, but 1,000 gold, not bad. I, I wish I had done this quest in my previous playthroughs, because that's a nice little bounty. Well, at least we have it now. Alright, so there's not going to be much to do, I think, until we uh, advance to level 3. Let me check the progress on that. I see. 2 out of 10. Ooh. We, we're going to need, need 8 more skill increases. <laughs> I suppose there's nothing wrong with, like, spamming a spell or something. <laughs> we're just testing. It's healing. There we go. Three out of ten. Ooh, there we go. But I think it, this is a good place to leave off for today. Next time we will continue with our main quest fun and we won't have to worry about leveling up any further. Yeah. We helped the murder case. The Balmora murder case. <laughs> uh, good times. So, I hope you are still enjoying Morrowind, even though the pace seems to have slowed down a little bit for now. It's fun. It's nice to have some world building here and there. Alright. That's good to hear. Yeah. So, we'll see everyone next time, ladies and gentlemen. Later. Enjoy the evening. It is evening, right? <laughs>